there, there's a, there's a, a, a label of cowardice that gets put on, like running away from a fight. Um, and that's not, that's not true. We as animals have a, have a flight or fight mechanic. Mm -hmm. And when we sit and we uh, are, are, are faced with a, a massive um, conflict, we can either punch and go at something, or we can run away. When you're going to get a post-traumatic stress disorder is when you sit and you don't do anything and you just acquiesce mm. and okay, just do whatever it is you need to do and move on. Your flight or flight mechanic never got a chance to kick in, and and we are animals, you know. We we can run and we can go forward. My advice would be to um to just get hightail it out of there, you know, and and use your brain about it, you know. I'd rather use my brain than my fist. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are still talking with the incomparable Brian Dietzen, uh co-star of the NCIS. I want to ask you this question. Did you ever think about at any point in your education life dropping out of school? No, I never did. And never, never, never crossed my mind. Why do you think it crosses so many students? Because the dropout numbers are astounding uh, nowadays. Yeah, well, I mean, I think uh, right about now, the... the um, the job market. I mean, getting a high school diploma doesn't necessarily mean as much as it used to. As much as it used to mean, I can see certain kids thinking, "Well, that's not a really rewarding thing. If I go get that certificate, does that really mean that I'm going to have a better job in the future?" Right? And I understand that. Um, and I also think that uh, that sometimes teachers are not connecting with kids, and if you don't connect with kids, and and your school is a hotbed of, of activity you don't want to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Um, well, why wouldn't I just go do something that's easier? Why wouldn't I go just get a job and work for minimum wage? Not really seeing the, the long-term plan, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I had an uncle who dropped out of school, and he, I think he got his GED 20, 30 years afterwards. Oh, wow. And, um, but he, he, at the time, he dropped out because he, he said, I just would rather just work at the body shop, you know, work at a, work at, work on cars and make some money and that's it. It's it's much more rewarding to me than, than school. I never enjoyed school. So um, yeah, I think there's a lot of different reasons that kids drop out, but in my family I don't think that was even really an option. An option. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I had very I had very, very supportive parents when I came to that. Okay. Attitude. How important or unimportant do you feel it is to the success or failure of a young person or any person for that matter? Uh, attitude is huge. I mean the Put on your, um, you know, your glasses half full glasses, and 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 the world looks a lot better. And I, I think that the world does give back to you what you put out there. Okay. And I think that if you put out there that no, no, it's not going to happen. Nope, no, I don't. No, I'm just going to be unhappy. The world's going to reward you with that as well. Mm -hmm. You know what you what you you get what you give. Okay. Fun question. All right. Got any pet peeves? Yes, I do have a pet peeve. <laughs> Um, I, I have pet peeves with people that have tons of pet peeves. I get, <laughs> I get so, like, I get so annoyed. And I think, I think it's, be, it's compounded since the advent of social media, of, of, of Facebook and Twitter. And there's so many people that complain nonstop. Mm. I mean, if you want to hear complaining, just go on Facebook and just look down your timeline. Right. There are a lot of cool pictures of kids, you know, the people with their kids' birthdays and, and you know, we had this anniversary party and that sort of stuff. But a lot of people that get on there, or get on their soapbox just to complain about what it is that's going on. I'm thinking, why spend your time doing yeah. that? You know, I'm sure you can, you know, complain to your, your spouse, your friends, or whomever about, ah, oh, boy, I'm really bummed I got that ticket. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's too bad. But to go on there and, like, you know, type it up and and put it out in the world. I mean, it's just it's just espousing negativity, and I don't think I don't think that that's good for a person's soul to do that every day. Right. <laughs>